Hey everybody, we are here again with WWE 2K14 30 Years of WrestleMania mode. We are on the new generation story. We are three out of seven matches, so we have four remaining, and I think we're gonna go ahead and finish it up here. Now, while WrestleMania 11 might have featured Undertaker and Kingai Kungai Bundai, the real draw was Big Daddy Diesel <laughs> versus Shawn Michaels for the WWE championship so that's what we're gonna kick it off with here today let's try to hit 1200 likes and finish up the new generation wrestlemania 11 diesel versus sean mckells april 2nd 95 in hartford for the ww championship diesel made an impact when he entered the ww as michael's bodyguard as time passed the two charismatic superstars became competing as a tag team and held the ww tag team championship in 94. At Survivor Series 94, however, Diesel was on the receiving end of Sweet Chin Music as Michaels accidentally kicked Diesel in the face. This led to an argument during which Diesel dissolved the tag team and vacated his WWE Tag Team Championship. Three days later, Diesel defeated Bob Backlund to become the new WWE Champion. Michaels won the Royal Rumble two months later, which earned him a match against Big Daddy. Cool. <laughs> For the WWE championship at wrestlemania 11. sean and diesel look pretty similar at this point in the face i don't know there's something about it there we have to win by pinfall or submission oh good hit hbk with the big boot get him to critical damage and then do a couple of things throughout the match here ah yes kevin nash's gimmick where he was a big fan of trucks <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the wwe championship look at those bangs dude. making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 228 pounds, the number one contender, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen, a tremendous athlete. He has waited for this. He has trained and sacrificed for this. Sure. I talked to him earlier today, and he promised me, he told me to tell everybody to expect the performance of a lifetime here tonight. Well, JR, HBK is known for his speed, athleticism, and all-around agility. But don't forget the super kick that's put down many WWE superstars over the year. In my book, he's the favorite to take home the WWE Championship. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 317 pounds, the WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool, Diesel. Yeah, he was something. Ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania 11 in Hartford, Connecticut, Big Daddy Cool Diesel against his former tag team champion partner, Shawn Michaels. We're going to see firsthand who the weak link of that tag team was, JR. Just now, let me tell you who it was. Diesel. Eat your heart out, Shawn Michaels. You damn right. It turns out Shawn Michaels was the, the Genetti the whole time. Diesel was the big dog. How about that, Sean? Just come here for a second. Let's send you launching. That's right, baby. I got moves you never even seen. You thought I was only going to hit you with the back elbow in the corner and then the jackknife powerbomb? Psych. I got all kinds of moves. I'm a young man. A young, young man. Not even into the twilight of his career for another 10 years easy. The twilight being when he didn't have to wrestle whatsoever and was still making $3 million a year. Yeah. Sorry, Sean, you big mark. Yeah, go have your good matches, Brad. I'm going to tell you something a little different. Whoop. Oh, we already got him to light damage. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, set him up here. I'm assuming since it says for us to do the big boot and it didn't tell us how to do it, that this is a signature or a finish for him at this point, which is very test of this guy. You damn right I'm powerful. I'm doing big damage too, so I'm going to slow it down real quick. Make sure he understands I'm not trying to get gassed tonight. All right. I'll get gassed later on. We go out with some beers. You know what I'm saying? But right now in the ring, I'm not going to deal with that. Eat your heart out, Rick Rude. Oh, my God. I remember this just like it was yesterday. Big Daddy Cool, Daddy's Diesel, fucking big outsider dad. Used to go to the top rope all the time. Do crazy elbow drops. And he used to shout, whoa, yeah, as he came off the rope sometimes. It was crazy. Here. I thought maybe I could. Whoa. Cool athleticism, Sean. Too bad they don't make you the money, kid. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now that's a fucking signature. I call that die. Big D is getting ready. 
Oh, okay, well, sorry, I meant to do the big boot, but every ounce of my being said, uh, how about I give you a jackknife powerbomb instead? Man, that move rules. Get joyous. Let's see. Ooh, I thought I was going to give him the gut buster again, but I guess. Not every match needs to come back. Sean! Sometimes you can just lay down and lose, buddy. Now, how do I give this guy the big boot is the question. Because I know I have this lariat. I know I have the punch. There's the lariat again. Let's pick him back up. Oh, Sean, you didn't do good. Where's your comeback, Sean? Yeah, the jackknife powerbomb bet. That would be a good move if I hit that move that I haven't hit yet. Thank you so much, game. Oh, man, now my head hurts. Come on, Sean. Yeah, let, let me do face bumps out here, dude. Oh, that didn't give me... I thought that would give me signature, to be honest with you. Uh-oh, Sean's firing up. He's firing back. Boom! Cut off by the Diesel Meister. That didn't give me... What the? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Let's see. Let me, let me see if I got the running gimmick. Let's see. Get up. Sean, get up. So if I do the regular signature, it's just a punch. Oh, it's over. I'm about to give it to him. Oh, did he reverse? Sean, the finish. Sean, the finish. We were supposed to take it over. Sean. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> Wow. Oh sweet shit music. Wow. Hey man. This sequence is kinda crazy. Is he going up? Oh no, he's going for the pin. Oh, and your finish is done with. Oh, I'm bleeding? You made Diesel bleed? Who's bleeding? Why is there blood? I don't see blood on Diesel. Turn around. Let me look. Let me see. Oh, I'm not bleeding. Is that Sean's blood? Who's, is the ref bleeding? Maybe it's Sean? I don't see any lacerations. What's going on here? Whoa! Yeah, hold on real quick, Sean. Give me five seconds. Match, Damn, I said five seconds. Your Math wasn't ever one of Sean's strong points, that's for true. Get in, come on. There you go. I'm going to hit you with one of these, too. The ref's out. Damn, the ref got up quick. What in the fuck? <laughs> Damn, you're not going to make me look good at all. That's it. I'm going to WCW. I've had enough of this. This is malarkey. Alright, let me show you diesel power. You're damn right. Alright, now stand up, Sean. Gave him a little extra 10 minutes. I'm sure the guys in the back are pretty not happy about that. But you know what? It is what it is, Mr. WrestleMania. It says win by pimp or submission. It says pimp. All right, I'm pinning. We got a Two, pitch, three, Thank you, Sean. I appreciate the match, kid. Oh, that's one of his moves, then. Diesel, a hard-fought matchup. Nonetheless, Diesel retaining the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania 11. Shawn Michaels has got to be devastated. I mean, he wanted this match so badly. Quite honestly, I think he got robbed, Jay. Rob? Big Daddy Cool sending a message that the WWE is now running on diesel power. All right, that's enough. Take the title off of him. WrestleMania 11 Arena has been unlocked. WrestleMania 12, The Undertaker versus Diesel, March 31st, 96 in Anaheim. At the Royal Rumble 96, as Undertaker prepared to end his WWE Championship match against Bret Hitman Hart with a tombstone, he was attacked by Diesel, who thought that he deserved a title shot. It was announced at WrestleMania 12, Undertaker and Diesel would face off in a battle of WWE's most dominant big men. 
As the match approached, the mind games began as the Phenom proceeded to torment Big Daddy Cool. Eventually, the psychological warfare peaked as Undertaker positioned a coffin at ringside. Diesel destroyed the casket, only to discover a life-size replica of himself. Win by pinfall or submission, hit a choke slam with Tombstone, and win. Oh no, it's Undertaker with the mask. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, well, there's a big truck. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 300 pounds. Oh yeah, B Big D. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, here he comes. He's cool. And he's big. He's big daddy cool. Yeah. And the Undertaker will be meeting this seven foot monster. And you wonder whether or not the big diesel truck by the name of the Undertaker just might run over big daddy cool here at WrestleMania. Yeah. It could only happen, ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania. I must say, big daddy cool. Looks like he's pretty much keeping his cool, at least for oh the moment. Oh my God! I'm sure the Undertaker's this is been playing some mind an games, but apparently talking it segment hasn't here. And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Bearer from Death Valley, weighing 328 pounds, the Undertaker. Wow! Look at that face, Jr. What a ghoulish face. figure. Well, we're only minutes away from finding out the battle of the monsters here. The oh, seven man. Foot Where's the mess? Daddy Cool Diesel going one-on-one -on -one with the Phenom. Oh, man. The He's got the texture the side. It's a wrap. Six foot, ten inches tall, 328 pounds. This matchup is likely to be one of the more physical contests we've ever seen at WrestleMania very physical this unquestionably is the gravest challenge for the undertaker the undertaker perhaps has never met a man quite like diesel a man who could very well plant the undertaker six feet under this is a very good talking segment you know while i know that it is historically accurate for undertaker not to have the mask in this match i understand that if I made this, I think that I would probably have put something in the menu where you go, you know, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, you know, that sort of thing. And then you would have got the mask for this match. How did you get a signature from me hitting you? Something about the big D, huh? <laughs> There's something about the big D, huh? <laughs> oh, D. Oh, D. Oh, D. Go ahead, hit the punch. What a good signature, too. Oh, we blocked the punch. Two, two finishers? Two. Oh, okay, this is that defeat the streak mode people were telling me to play. It's defeat the streak against Big D. The Undertaker is about to attack. Defeat the D of D. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, he got a deep two on that too. What the hell's going on here? Uh oh. He's about to headlock into the jackknife. Wait a minute, Undertaker's feeling different. Wow. How crazy is that? Is he going to reverse? No, he's not. Okay, good deal. Well, I have to get my signature now. So actually, if Big D... <laughs> if Big D would let me get my signature or just let me reverse another one of his gimmicks so I can go ahead and beat him after I hit the choke slam, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Punch me in my head. Damn, if I had a mask on, it probably wouldn't have hurt so bad. Had that special defense. Oh my god. The D is bleeding. Blood is coming out of the D. The big D is bleeding. That's fucked. Oh, did he reverse my gimmick? Come on, bro. Wait a minute. Now please let me keep my signature for five more seconds, bro. I'm begging you. Oh, farts. Can I cancel? Cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm canceling. I am canceling. 
Yeah. Yeah, old school. That's for sure. Yeah, all right. So there you go. Hit one of those, Undertaker. Now I'm going to hit a couple of these with my finger. Oh, I missed the old one where he goes like this with his thumb for some reason. This one just don't hit the same. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know if you got... I, I talk, tried to tell you backstage that I was going to hit my finish and then just sit here and taunt for five minutes. I, I don't know if you caught that or not. I understand. You know, maybe you didn't hear it, but we're doing it anyway. I'm calling the shots. Oh, come on. Diesel. <laughs> Just one time. Come on, Undertaker. All right, kid. We're going to take it home here, all right? God damn it. Cancel. Stop doing. Do other move. Ew. Damn, his arm went off that like crazy. Oh, here we go. The choke slam's coming up. Oh. And he's down, but Undertaker said this is not over with yet. Bleeding out of the top of his head, Big Daddy Diesel with the huge neck breaker. The Undertaker no selling because he doesn't care. He knows he's going to WCW, so he's going to take liberties where liberties need to be taken. And here at WrestleMania. How is his submission that crazy? How does he have that crazy of submission events? What in the hell just happened? How did you do that? Oh! Oh, what a oh man. Big D is getting a wreck with power. I don't know what to do here, bro. This is fucked up. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end this real quick. Don't wanna give him too crazy. Here we go. I'm gonna count that as the last ride power bomb. It's not, but I'm gonna count it as such. Yeah. Oh, I gave him the old long one too. Ooh. Oh What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Oh my God! I just give up. This guy's submission defense immaculate. Incredible. Oh, he dropped the. Oh my God! A sign of things to come, dude. He's enjoying this. Yeah, let me tell you something real quick, buddy. And the One punch, you should be out on the Undertaker. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think Paul Bearer is breaking the table. I don't think he's very happy about this whole situation. Collar and elbow tie up. There we go. Take her to the top. It's hard to stop. Pop. Big Daddy Cool Diesel is a to intimidate easily. Whoa. Take her back to the top. Hey, Diesel. You big bag of trash. Double axe handle. Center of the ring. I'm calling for it. Well. I think that's what Undertaker said. Yeah. Choke slam. Center of the ring. Clean back bump. Take it home, kid. in the Undertaker's career. It was definitely his greatest challenge. Undertaker has asserted himself Dude, what is up with this? What? I think Diesel shrunk down to about six foot seven now. One of the hardest fought battles. What is up with this JR like commentary? Daddy Cool Diesel and the one and only Phenom, the Undertaker. <laughs> Diesel is quite a good wrestler. Diesel is facing The Undertaker, and it is grave. The WrestleMania 12 arena has been unlocked along with Diesel. Still on WrestleMania 12, it is Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hitman Hart. March 31st, 96, still in Anaheim for the WW Championship. The 60 minute Iron Man match. Shawn Michaels, who vacated the Intercontinental Championship several months prior due to injury, looked to turn his career around and challenge WW Champion Bret Hitman Hart to a title match at Survivor Series 95. Michaels, however, suffered another agonizing loss at Survivor Series as Bret Hart retained his WW Championship. Michaels, however, would not be deterred from his boyhood dream to become WW Champion. 
He won the 96 Royal Rumble, earning a WWE title shot at WrestleMania 12. It was announced that Hart would defend his title in the first ever 60-minute Iron Man match, where the superstar with the most victories in the allotted time would leave as WWE champion. It is the dream of the challenger to become a champion. This is his big moment. This is his chance to steal it all, you know, to be the world champion. The crowning achievement of a lifetime of yearning for greatness. It is the dream of the champion to aspire to excellence, to have his legacy indelibly etched into history. Shawn Michaels, the confident challenger, a maverick who spits in the face of adversity. Damn, that's pretty crazy, actually. Bret Hart, a tenacious champion, the mighty ring general who refuses to contemplate defeat. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. Tonight, for one illustrious hour in the epic Iron Man match, we will witness their passion, applaud their heroics, and marvel at their athletic prowess. It symbolizes who is the actual best wrestler, and he's gonna find out that, uh, that I'm the best. Two masters engaged in an extraordinary athletic event. Two men bound by one dream. After 60 grueling minutes, one man will have his arm raised high, the quest realized, the challenge overcome. The other will breathe loneliness, his dream shattered. We have to earn the most points within the time limit, complete the moment, do a bunch of hidden objectives, and then go into sudden death with a score tied zero to zero. Listen to this capacity crowd. Wait a minute. That's a hundred feet in the air. Is that who you think it is? There's only one heartbreak kid, Sean Michaels. Look at that. Unbelievable. What a ride. <laughs> Sean Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that's true. That is Sean Michaels. He Capacity crowd, and what is still landed in his quick Shawn Michaels. Here he comes. This contest is the special Iron Man match for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds. This guy had pyro, and then Shawn pyro. Michaels. There's pyro everywhere. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for double. Between perhaps the two greatest athletes who have ever gone tights. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, the WWE Champion, Rhett Hitman Hart. The Hitman, Bret Hart. Hitman. What an ovation. Both athletes appreciating each other, but only one will walk away from WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. And you can bet that they will both give their all. Oh, you're right, JR. And after everything we've seen here tonight, neither one of these guys may be able to walk out of the ring. Well, folks, that's what it's all about. The WWE Championship. Whoa, buddy, slow it down for five seconds, all right? We got a lot of time to mess around with here, kid. We got a lot of time. All right, slow it down. Look at WWE using logos on the canvas. How crazy, bro. You give a couple. You need a big Slim Jim logo over there. How about a big Western Union logo? Four of them would be pretty fucking cool. You're going to get the WCW game. Imagine being a developer on that game. All right, so... We gotta figure out how to do a triple cage, Judy Bagwell on a pole, uh, dog collar matches. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff to uh, make up here, and that's not even half of the crazy shit they did. We gotta figure out how to drop blood from the ceiling. That'd be pretty cool, actually. What one of the one of the like what do you call what are they even called in the other games? Paybacks. One of the paybacks is I drop blood from the ceiling. <laughs> And anytime I drop it on Kevin Nash, he just misses. May be divided. Mm. Will not be wow, he's tonight. about to be in critical Ever already. He was a young boy mm. in San Antonio, Texas. Man. Sean, Sean went for the Gamangiri. That move kind of rules. <laughs> he will not let 
I like the Gamagiri more than I like the Enzigiri, I think. Maybe because the step up Enzigiri has been like so used by so many people, and I feel like the Gamagiri's not. You know, just strip kick, just jump and kick somebody in the face. All right, so we have two hidden objectives here. Brett, come on, we gotta take it home, kid. Irish whip him. Oh well, he's already moderate. Perfect. Oh shit. All right, here we go, kid. Here comes the sweet chin music. Wait, no. Bret Hart avoiding the kick and dropping out of the ring. Smart move, JR. He's seen this song and dance a few Wait different minute. times. Michaels is going upstairs. Whoa! Shades of Shawn Michaels' favorite wrestler, Riho. Now let's see what happens next. We have to get back in the ring. Irish whip Bret Hart. Whoa, time has passed. All right, Irish whip him into the turnbuckle. Come on down, kid. Oh, that didn't work for some reason. Hmm. Ooh, that was pretty clean right there. Did that work? Oh, he's not critical. Well, a quaint reminder that I can't read nor do math. So there's that situation at hand. The fact that I'm even here right now is nothing short of a miracle. I'll give you a one count, all right? Hey, we're 20 minutes in. I'll give you a one count. Hold on, bro. Ooh. Whoa. That's what I say. Should I cancel? Because, I don't know. He might. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to kick out. We have to go tied zero to zero. All right. Stay right there for a second. Whatever. <laughs> the moonsault's a little more gaudy than the, the elbow drop anyway, so... Fuck it. All right, buddy. How about I give you one of these? Sweet chin music! All right. I don't know how that didn't get you. Oh, let me show you. This is going to be critical. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Stretch it back a little bit. Stretch it back a little bit. There you go. Oh, my God. He didn't even fight out of it. Usually, they fight out of it. Oh, because he was playing possum. Did he get busted open for the sweet chin music? And here we go. It's probably going to be like, do your comeback for the last objective. <laughs> Body slam. He is down. To the top rope. Elbow drop. Corner finisher. Yeah, maybe soon. Whoa. He did not let me do that. Uh-oh, Brett wants to go for a superplex? Superplex that. Whew. Big drop kick out of the corner. Shawn Michaels is a huge Miyuki Takase fan. Oh, oh my god! Bro, that was crazy! Holy moly, I like that a lot. That was dope. Oh, there we go. All right. Now you get Irish whip. Sure. And we're down to 18 minutes. Go into sudden death with score tied 0-0. Zero zero. So do we play out the next, the what, 18 now. minutes? Quack. So I just got to play around with him for 18 minutes or what? All right. Well, I will do as the game asks me to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Come here, you piece of trash. There we go. What'd that say? Did that say something on my name? I thought that said something on my name. Like underneath. I thought I read text. Maybe not. Fifteen. Whoa! I'm gonna act like you're not doing that right now. Let's go ahead and stop that. Whoa! whoa, whoa signature. What you mean? What's that mean? What's that word mean? The figure four on the ring post. No. Oh, son of a bitch! Come on, man. You need to start counting more than that, ref. 
Sharpshooter on the outside. Uh-uh. I'm not tapping out, bro. No, no, no. Look how clean that looks, too, man. That sharpshooter was on a different level. Wow. Okay. Uh, hmm. That changes the complexity of this match quite a bit. Yeah. You know, we're back in the ring, all right. Oh, now I have signature. Collar and elbow tie-up 40 minutes in. This is what I live for. Come here, buddy. Whoa! Double drop kick from Bret Hart. But Sean with the eye poke. We're down to 10 minutes. 10 minutes remaining. Let's get it, baby. Woo! I'm gonna go for the signature. HBK with a hard right. He fights it off. Now that's a statement. He's Ooh, a there we go. Down. Off the rope. Sean with the crossbar. Whoa. Come on, man. It. Oh, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, I'm going to give it to Watch you. It. Sweet chin music. Now I can hang out out here for a minute. Hey, guys. Really, I just don't like your shirt, Jerry. So I'm going to rip this to shreds. Just not even a little bit. Just just awful. All right, you can come out here if you want, Brett. Ooh. You taking my gimmick, kid? Oh, the Bret Hart clothesline. And it's actually Bret Hart doing it this time. Oh, back in the ring? I'm not surprised that the Matt technician would want to get back in the ring. Whoa. I got the big reversal. What's the time? I need the time. What's the time? See, this is why you should wear a watch. Wait. They know I'm cute. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, we got three more spots, kid. <laughs> you better hurry up. Yeet. All right. All right, way to go. Uh, Muta. All right, put, put your knees up. Put your knees up. Oh, you're supposed to put your knees up. I'm going to go again. Put your knees up. 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 Oh, put your knees up. All right, here we go, here we go, Brad, come on, let's go. 30 seconds. <gasps> your knees, Brett, your knees. You got to use your knees. The knees, Brett, the knees. Oh, there we go, the knees from Brad Hart. By God, he just knows Shawn Michaels so well. Oh, my God. The sleeper. Not going to happen. 15, 14, 13. By God, Shawn Michaels is backing himself into the corner. Whoa. Is barely standing in. Oh, look out. One more time. Look at that cinched in, champion. man. His lower back the ref gave up. It's something about how wide he gets with his legs. Now hold on one damn minute. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The 60 minute time limit has expired. However, this match has been ordered to continue under sudden death rules, which means there must be a winner. This kind of this you know, match will continue. You know now, th now the matches like this are kind of blown, I guess, right? Because every single match with a time limit now is every single match with a time limit now is five more minutes, or everyone hates it. Like ever. <laughs> All right, I'm going up to the top, baby. Oh, it kind of exposed this gimmick. <laughs> they didn't even get it out the gate. Damn, that's Look tough. That's it. He's done. All right, kid. 
Corner finish. Oh, that's a good camera. Brett is down. Brett is down. Brett is down. Here's a cover. Pierce two. And he gets the first. Here is your winner and new WWE champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, this match exceeded any expectations of what you'd want to see. Shawn Michaels being awarded the title in front of Bret Hart. The boyhood dream has come true for Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, officially the <laughs> Shawn WWE Michaels, champion. officially the WWE champion. We have the witnessed WWE the single champion. greatest athletic event in WWE history. Well, I won't say he didn't earn it, JR, because he did. And I don't want to rain on his parade because right now he's accomplished his dream. But he's just setting out on a journey he may not be ready for. Because defending and keeping the WWE title is going to be harder than anything he's ever done in his life. We have unlocked HBK and Brett Hitman Hart. And now for the final match of the new generation, WrestleMania 13, Brett Hitman Hart versus Steve Austin, March 23rd, 97 in Rosemont. No disqualification submission match. The rivalry between Brett Hitman Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin began after Austin won the 96th King of the Ring tournament. Hart, inactive due to injuries at the time, found himself on the receiving end of a series of vitriolic insults from the Texas Rattlesnake. Hart returned to the ring in October 96 and responded to Austin's insults, which only elevated their rivalry. The two polarizing superstars faced each other at Survivor Series 96, where Hart defeated Austin. At the 97 Rumble, though, Hart had eliminated Austin, but the officials didn't see it. Austin would later interfere and eliminate Hart. With the rivalry reaching a boiling point, Hart and Austin agreed to a match in a no disqualification submission match at Mania 13. Imagine that for over a decade, you have fought to reach the pinnacle of your profession. Then you walk away. When you return six months later, nothing is the same. I've been screwed by Shawn Michaels. I've been screwed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. You scratch my back and I'll stab yours. There is no respect. Everybody in that dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Even your All fans time have changed. At the heart of this change is a man that spits in the face of your every accomplishment. Ever since you came back, you ain't done nothing but cry. He has attacked you physically and verbally. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. This man mocks your legacy. Bret Hart on his best day, can't lace my boots, I will beat the hell out of Bret, and that's the bottom line. Injustice after injustice has forced you to snap. Frustrated isn't the word for it. Now the finger is pointed at you. You're the one who's changed. He's snapping, man. They say your ego is your enemy. There is only one solution. You must make Austin beg for mercy. But what if Stone Cold Steve Austin wins? What becomes of Brett Hitman Hart then? Goosebumps, man. Win by submission, get Austin to light damage outside the ring, a bunch of hidden stuff, and then use the ring bell. The following contest is a submission mm. match from Victoria, Texas, Weighing the glass breaks, but there is no sound. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Listen to this crowd. Listen to this response. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about in your face. That's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. A lot of people say he's the most dangerous man in the world. We hear a lot of Steve rumors recently that Stone Cold Steve Austin is the most dangerous man in the world. The face of the earth that can make him quit. I believe Austin and his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Rick Hitman Hart. And here he comes, a mixed reaction to a man who has unquestionably an amazing Why legacy. Why is Bret Hart wearing Neo Mominos jacket here? What's going and on? As of late, that legacy has taken somewhat of a turn. Brent's demeanor has soured, Jr. He doesn't appreciate the stark aggression and frankness of many lately. 
most notably Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it's boiled over as of late. Many think Bret Hart was out of line for the abusive obscenities he hurled on live television. And you don't want to know what Austin does here soon. Bret Hart and Bret Steve Hart Austin one on one with the iconic imagery match. at the end. No I'm excited to get there, but we got quite a few things to do before we do get there, including me getting my ass out here and grabbing this table and beating the hell out of Steve Austin. Steve, where's your gold chain? Probably would have won this match if the gold chain was on, man. There we go. So you got to roll it in there and give it to him. Oh! Because the old SmackDown guys, I won't hit that table. <laughs> All right, hey, Steve, you see these steps? Oh, well. Okay. Anyways, let me get this chair. What's up, bitch? Oh, my. Oh, what? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Steve? I don't know if you got it. I do a match here, buddy. There we go. All right, so we have to Irish whip him into a turnbuckle, but we have to give him the moderate damage first. All right, well, that's the last bit of that chair there. Where's that ring bell at? Ah, indubiously. Oh, you want a trash can? Because you're a big, fat piece of trash? Oh, good. All right, so we already got that. Now we've got to give him the moderate. Why don't you get back in the ring, old Stone Cold? What? Get in the ring, old Steve. What? You want to get back in the ring, Austin? What? Get back in the ring. What? The squared circle. What? Get in the ring. Yeah, run over here, buddy. Sick of you saying what? What? Hey, give you three of those, buddy. Take it home. Right in the butt cheeks. What? Ass cheeks. What? Gluteus Maximus. What? <laughs> Moderate damage is still not there, and you're bleeding. Are you bleeding or? Yeah, you're Steve bleeding. Austin okay, there we go. He has for Let's throw him in there. Hell yeah! I love that bump, bro. That rules. Yeah, you already knew that was this come, buddy. I'm looking at him shrimping. Got a little shrimp going on there. All right, so now we have to get his legs to critical damage. You know what? I feel like his legs are already close to critical, so it won't take too long. Oh! No! My crossbody, Steve. Come on, man. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. Nice. Turn that son of a bitch around. I'm a bad, bad man. Oh, wait a minute. Steve's going to get back to his feet. Whoa, now. Whoa. Snap, Mayor? What the hell is this? Why don't you calm down real quick, buddy? Let me get them legs. That's a Russian leg sweep. Yep, we've had that dilemma quite a bit in the WWF, actually, Jerry. That should. Man, what? It's going to take something that I don't even think I can conceive of. Mm -hmm. Conceive this. The hitman sees his own. Woo! As you know, Bret Hart known for his chops. Oh, nice count. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can block the attack? Oh. oh. Nah, I'm not going to let you get away with that, buddy. Oh, we got... Okay, because I think that's the one that was going to be critical. Oh, I went for the drop kick. He punched me out of midair. This ain't Def Jam. The fuck back in the ring. Oh, look where he's going again. Yeah, right there. That's where Chavo got his taunt, actually. You got a baseball bat? Show you a baseball bat, buddy. Has not let up. That sound he's is just fucked. Steve, what? it's because he's got the knee brace. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that, Steve. It's the knee brace. Uh-oh. Swing, bada, bada, swing. Ref, look at him cheating. Is this the kind of WWF champion you want? Is this right? Is this what you people want? That's why I don't care about you people. Bret Hart cares about himself. 
And he definitely doesn't care about you Steve Maniacs out there. You steve aholics What? Oh, he's gonna... Come on now, don't do this to me. Come on, man. Stomping him. Whoa! Okay, Steve was getting a little... To say the very least. A little too... You know what I mean? A little too... You know? A couple sounds that was made up right there. What's going on here, buddy? All right, now that I got three finishers, Steve, it's time to... He reversed it. There's no give in this kid, bro. This Steve Austin kid's going to go places. Right on top of the chair. You know, technically, I could just put him in the sharpshooter three times because, well, I have three sharpshooters, but I'm trying to be nice about it and do the limb targeting. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. Fred Hart, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Trash can? Come here, Steve. Oh, my God! No fucking legs. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, this has got to get him to critical legs. This has got to get him to critical leggage. Yeah, I was about to say. Win with the sharpshooter. All right, well, I only have two more of them, so... Yeah, I swear to God, if my X button doesn't hit X... Snapmare on the trash can. Give me your legs. Oh, I love how they put the little extra sauce in there too. That's nice. Sharpshooter, sharpshooter. He's got it on. Austin cannot reach the ropes. This is Bret Hart's move. And who can blame Stone Cold if he gave up right here? Impossible. He's doing the impossible. Nobody's ever broken the sharpshooter. He did it. Or did he? God, no, Brett is so good. Won. I thought for sure Austin broke it, but no. Stone Cold trying to reach that rope. Austin will not surrender. He will not submit. Just ain't nothing left. display of intestinal fortitude like we just saw was Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he did the butt rope exit. Listen that, to this chorus of boos directed at the hitman. So man. good. Brick the hitman heart has just defeated one of the gutsiest individuals ever. We have unlocked Steve Austin, the WrestleMania 13 arena with the big number 13. <laughs> and Brett Hitman Heart. It is now time for the Attitude Era. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you did, leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And I will check you guys out next time when we come back with more. See CM Pulse is the best. Yes, he is. Click the subscribe button. Yes, you know you want to. Yes, you do. Click it today.